Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is going to be my 12 week update. I can't believe I'm already through my 12th week. I'm 13 weeks in two days today and it's really going by a lot quicker for me this time than it did the last time. So today's video might be a little bit quicker. I feel like I don't have as much to talk about as I did last week but to get started and I hate to be negative but the first couple things are just like bad symptoms I guess and I've just been sick so the first thing I want to talk about is headaches. I have been getting the worst headaches mostly in the morning sometimes at night they kind of come and go I've been taking Tylenol for them and ended up getting some Tylenol sinus because I felt like it might be a sinus pressure headache and it works sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't and I just kind of have to deal with it I think it's just one of those things that you know it's a symptom something that you just have to deal with when you're pregnant and then that brings me to I have been sick I've had the worst cold I don't remember which day it started but I felt it. it was that evening and I kind of felt my throat getting scratchy and just itchy and stuff. So I was like, okay, I had a feeling I was about to get sick. And sure enough, that next morning I woke up with a sore throat and just a really bad headache. So I think, you know, just sinus pressure and stuff. But I have been feeling... I guess a little bit better. I'm still struggling with it at night and in the mornings and just throughout the day. Like I'm congested too. And you know, there's not a whole lot that you can take. <laughs> so one thing I have been doing is I've been drinking lemon tea with honey and it feels so good, you know, just to be able to drink that. It just kind of, it soothes it a lot. So I'm glad that I thought about that. I asked Ryan to go pick me some up the other day and he did, thankfully. So I've been drinking that sometimes in the morning, sometimes at night. The doctor called last week and told me that I am anemic. I was anemic with Maurice and they told me to just take Fergon, which is an over-the-counter iron pill, but this time they needed to call something in for me. So I don't even remember the name of it, but it's little red pill, super strong iron pill. So that's lovely, which means I'm taking that medicine now. And also, that would be my fourth medicine. Fifth with my shot that I'm having to take this pregnancy, which I don't like having to do. And then since I'm having to take the iron, I'm having to take a probiotic every day just to kind of keep me regular because, you know, so much iron will cause problems and I don't need all that. So I'm going to try to stay on top of it and just be proactive and go ahead and start my probiotics now in hopes that I can stay regular. Sorry, TMI. So I'm still super emotional. I have been since the very beginning, you know, and I guess this could go in my 13 week update, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say it now. Last night I was reading Reese's her books and I almost started crying because I'm just thinking about how she's not gonna be my only baby anymore and like how am I gonna do this with another baby? Like I love her so much. I want to still be able to have time to do all the things that I do with her now. Like, we wake up every morning and we cuddle. And I, I'm not a morning person. Like, it takes me a while to wake up most days. So, she, I wake up when she wakes up. I'm not one of those people that get up earlier. I wish I was, but I just don't have it in me. Um, never have. And I probably never will. But we wake up in the mornings and we cuddle. She drinks her milk in my lap and we turn on the TV and we just have our cuddle time. And then at night, you know, I've incorporated just reading books to her in the past month or two um, before her bed for her bedtime routine. So now that she's old enough to kind of understand and she's really enjoying them. I still want to have time to do all these things. I don't know how we're going to do it, but I know people do it all the time and we're just gonna have to figure it out. So I'm excited, but I'm also just trying to soak up this last little bit of time that I have with Reese being the only baby. See, I'm gonna get emotional just thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, so struggling with the emotions for sure. My husband's so patient. I think he thinks I'm super crazy a lot of times, but you know. I guess it just is what it is. And I guess that's it about my symptoms. Um, a couple things that I've been craving is we have jalapeno stuffed olives. And once I get started on those, I cannot stop. They are so good. Another craving I had was for fried fish. I went to my parents' house. My dad loves to fish and he loves to cook fish. We went over there one day last week and my mom cooked some pasta. And I was like, I was really hoping some, for some fried fish. So anyway, they called me back over there a couple days later and my dad had cooked some fried fish and it was so good. Hush puppies, french fries, fried fish, hit the spot. I overdid it like I always do, and um, but it was so good. And then also, I'm still loving my popsicles. I like to just kind of relax <laughs> at night, you know, and um, 
my last pregnancy, I was drinking a lot of slushies. We did a lot of slushy runs and that sounds so good to me right now. We had a store not far from my house at the time and it's just a little bit further now, but Ryan would always go and get me slushies or if we were coming home, we'd stop and get a slushy. But I kind of went to popsicles this time. It's super similar and you know, like the flavor and the ice. So that's good, super good and I've just been really enjoying my popsicles. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my belly now. It hasn't grown much. But um, I'm just going to document it this way this time. Last time with Reese, I posted weekly pictures on Facebook and also did a um, time lapse of my pregnancy, which I'll go ahead and put that at the end screen of this one so y'all can see it if you want. But it was super cute. My husband actually did it for me and helped me out and he made a great video. So y'all check that out if you haven't seen it already. But yeah, so Cookie's with me again. I don't know where Pumpkin's at today. Let me go ahead and show y'all my belly. So that's from this side. And then the other side. Right now I just ate lunch, so I am in my regular pants still and I just have a rubber band. I still have bruises all over me. And that's the other side. So the little one is growing a little bit. Still super tiny. Thankfully I am still able to wear my pants. I'm just having to put a little rubber band around the button and that works perfect. So yeah, hope that you guys enjoyed this update. Don't forget to like, subscribe if you haven't already and leave a comment down below and I'll get back with you guys. And also just stick around. We will see you on the next video. I'll be having videos up every Monday and Friday. From here on out is what I'm going to try to do and I'm feeling really motivated so especially having um, this content to be able to share about my pregnancy. So please stick around and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye!